I got this uh, device in the mail today. One of our favorite things to do here at the lab is <laughs> work on SanDisk flash drives. And um, this had been worked on before by someone. I can already tell. Um, <clears throat> so let's see what we're dealing with here. So we got a donation and we got a to fix unit. So the donation, I guess, was sent in to uh, be used as a uh, donor for the swap. How about this? We'll have a look at the at the donor. We'll use a donor board for uh, the recovery. That's if they're the same, of course. And um, ooh, the donor board was also uh, worked on a little bit. Hey. That's a thirty two gig. What about the patient. The patient is 64 gig. Looking at the controllers, those are fairly modern controllers and they're different. They're different. Uh, part numbers are not the same. They probably don't work in the same way. Looking at the board, we got some stuff missing here from what it looks like. Maybe it wasn't there in the first place, but uh, what about the board numbers? The board numbers are actually the same, so the board numbers would be uh, fine to use. So to make this video a bit more interesting than just a real, regular simple repair of the connector that I do all of the time, I'm going to uh, recover data from the patient's uh, failed device using the donor board by the swap and uh, I'm gonna use, bring back the um, original board to its uh, working state using the components from the donor and we'll end up with two working flash drives. That thing was full on shorted. Okay, to make this functional, um, <laughs> we're actually gonna bring up another thing here. Uh, a couple of videos ago, I made a funny comment about my uh, light when the batteries were out and I had to cure something with the UV light. And I, was, and I said, uh, <laughs> if somebody wants to send me a light, feel free. And guess what? Somebody actually did listen to it and got uh, a light. So whoever you are, thank you. Because this came from Amazon and I did not order that. But it works great. It's huge. And uh, it can very easily sit right over the device, um, letting it cure up. So we're going to actually use that to full advantage today. So whoever sent that in, thank you so much. All of this is brushed off, all of that pretty much uh, is the copper for ground plane. We got our uh, VCC plane right here. And probably gonna cut these up right there. So that's the, uh, that's that one and that's this one. We'll do that after we um, uh, mask everything. Okay, first I wanna test that this works. I plug this in and it's not working. I don't know whether it's whether it's because uh, the connector is busted here as well or if this has something to do with that. Interesting, but I, I gotta figure out how to bring this back to life first. Let's start with the basics.
Okay, well, it's a totally dead flash drive. It's, it blinks, but aside from that, it doesn't do much else. Well, these seem to be attached and in place. They are all making contact, but the, the thing is that SanDisk is not even getting the device recognized. Uh, the board is probably still good. If anything, whatever that was done to it in the previous um, attempts to be repaired could have damaged the uh, controller. So what does that tell us? So this is going to be donor. Send this right there. So, using the wick, I'm just gonna take off all that extra solder that was on the pads. We're not gonna need that anymore. To plug it in now, we should at least see the controller come up. Not even a controller. It's just blinking. Okay, very uncertain about the situation with this controller. With the controller working without an end, we should at least be getting safe mode out of a device. So if we're not getting a safe mode from it, and that tells me most of the time that the controller is shot. So this is the donor board with the controller from the patient. I'm gonna plug it in and see if that's gonna work. If that's gonna get us some type of recognition that at least the SanDisk device is plugged in. That's what I'm looking for, primarily. Yeah. 
So we're getting a SanDisk Corona 1.0, 64 megabytes. So this controller is not shot. Whatever they did to the donor board originally killed the original controller. So the controller on the patient is good. So now um, we could go ahead and um, remove the NAND from the patient and swap it over. Swap it over to the prepped board. Fixing this board um, to get the donor device going at this point of time is doesn't make any sense. I mean, it's a good board, probably, but um, it's a little bit too late for the donor's com donor's controller. Donor's controller is really reached its uh, peak. Now wicking all the um, headers will um, pretty much level them out. See how the flux almost got rid of that silver line there? Sometimes that would happen. That's a little too much over there, but I'll use my bigger iron to clean it up. Mm -hmm. Let's just 
just easier to do it with the bigger guy here. That's it. So instead of uh, <clears throat> having two working flash drives, we're gonna only have one. But that wasn't our fault. The unit came in brain dead on arrival, so but at least it donated its lovely board to make this happen. Set it up to 120, just heat it up real quick. There's the sand disk. There's the uh, 60, whatever, 64 gigabyte capacity. And uh, if we preview the hex, you can see that there is data in there. Awesome. 